What's up guys, more Medic One. Hey, listen, it is absolutely chainsaw season around here and everybody's getting ramped up to get their pole saws fixed. As you can tell, I got a box full of brand new shafts that go on these pole saws. Sometimes the customer will absolutely bend these into oblivion to an unrepairable state and you just have to spend the money to uh, fix these pole saws. However, if you do replace this whole shaft, it's gonna cost you about half the price of a brand new machine. So it's, in my opinion, it's okay to uh, give the customer that option. Uh, but what we're gonna do today, we're gonna replace this shaft. However, down there on the engine, on the clutch bell, that bushing is needs to be replaced on this particular unit and I'm going to show you guys how to replace that bushing that this shaft uh, plugs into. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be a chainsaw, it can be a trimmer or anything with a steel powered equipment. Uh, KM series, uh, FS series, this procedure is all the same. Just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. This is the bushing that I'm referring to, and as you can tell, it's just worn out, wallowed out. And it's especially hard on these bushings when I, oops, excuse me, didn't mean to bump the camera there. It's especially hard on these pole pruners because they put so much undue force right here, and they shouldn't be. All right, so real easy to get the power head off of a steel equipment. All you need to do is on the handle on the back side over here is going to be a small little clamp just loosen loosen and then right here on the engine and loosen. Now you should be able to pull the handle and the power head off at the same time. Easy peasy. Now here's a little bit better view of that bushing that's worn out. Now you'll reuse the collar or the clamp collar here and the, you'll reuse the uh, the retaining ring, but we're going to replace this rubber in here. All right, so what we need to do, we need to just remove the retaining ring. You just get you a, a flat blade screwdriver, and as you can tell, it protrudes through the side over here, so just get close to where it pokes through. And you're just going to lift it up, pop it out, and this one should just come right out. Go ahead and finish removing the clamp screw. Be careful not to lose the washer. Now taking a pair of vice grips or just a pair of pliers, just kind of grip it and you should just come right out of there. And now we have the bushing out. And as you can tell, look at all the dirt and crap built up behind it so we need to push this metal piece out of and this is the hardest part so what I like to do is literally just cut this one off since it's the old one just take you a razor blade got this piece and we're going to break clean this up real well all right here is our new bushing and guys I'll find the part number to this a little later and I'll put it in the uh, description and in the comments I'll pin a comment if you have this style of bushing where you can get it at a discounted price for sure so basically all you need to do is just push this 
metal ring or this clamp down in there and it's a pain in the butt sometimes you know what i do like to do though is i will put a little bit of silicone grease brake caliper grease something that won't deteriorate rubber just a little bit of silicone grease down in here like i said will definitely make your day easy so go ahead and slide it in like that Boy, that pushing was dirty even though it was new. Now the new bushings have grooves and they're gonna line up with the little groove marks here. Just set it down in there. And then with a little force, we're going to have to push that down in there past so that our clip, our retainer will work and fit. And you may have to work that sucker and you may have to put a little bit of silicone grease on the outside of this bushing to get it to go down in there. Give it just a couple little love taps and then we're going to replace this retaining ring and it should just slide in by hand. And what you do now is you just kind of work it up with your screwdriver. Make sure it's in its slot here and here. And that is all you have to do. This is ready to go. Slide your handle assembly on. followed by the power head, making sure that the cable end engages with the clutch. Now that power head is solid as a rock on that shaft there. And that's a must because if you let this bushing get worn, guess what? Everything's trying to stay straight on the shaft, but if the power head is able to flex that cable's gonna get in a bind as it goes into the clutch drum. It's just not a good deal. For how much these little bushings cost and how easy they are replaced are to replace, I have no qualms about replacing these once a year. It's so easy to replace and it'll just keep your trimmer going, uh, you know, vibration free. It's also a shock buffer. But anyway, guys, if this content helped you out and I hope that it did, Give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, click that bell so that you get all my new videos. It's not even 8 o'clock and I'm already dirty. Y'all have a good day. More Medical One.